After you have reviewed sensitivity and exposure results in Avpoint Insights, you may find trends, certain things that your business users are doing that you would like to prevent. To do that, we go into Avpoint Policies, where we can set up Microsoft Teams policies to control things like external sharing, SharePoint Online Site policies to control who is giving permission to what, even policies for groups and for OneDrive. But in addition to putting in place rules-based governance for your Microsoft 365 workspaces, you can also build policies that govern the entire tenant. To do that, log on to Policies, and for Tenant, click Create Policy. Please note, if a policy is already in place, this button will not be here, but that's okay, because you can go right over on the left-hand side, under Policies, to Tenant. On this screen, we then click Create Policy. And if we scroll down, we can add rules. The number of rules that are available at the tenant level will expand over time. And here at the time of this video, you can see we have rules for ghost user detection, for users who don't have any memberships to any of your different workspaces, who can create groups and teams, who can delete groups and teams, and removing inactive guest users. That's guest users that haven't had any activity across your tenant in a while. So maybe I want to control who's allowed to create any groups or teams. Maybe the scenario is that you're experiencing a lot of sprawl with your teams and you want to try to get a better handle on that. I can then enter the user or users if necessary. And then below that, this is a type of rule that you can use in order to essentially undo something you didn't want done. So you can see, remove the out of policy group or team. If you prefer, you could also restrict the specified users from creating groups or teams. So essentially it's allow or do not allow. You cannot do both in a single rule. Would you like to get an email notification or would you like anyone to get an email notification if someone attempted to violate the rule? And you could even include a group or team owner in that if you chose to. If my rule looks good, down at the bottom I click Add to Policy. And if I wanted more, I just click Add Rule again. And you can see here are our remaining choices. I could also, for instance, restrict who's allowed to delete teams. We give our policy a name and an optional description. We scroll down to see how often, as a default, it's going to scan to see if anyone has broken your rule and how long to keep the data for record purposes so that you can go back and review what's gone on. If everything looks good, I click Create Policy. And now we can see our Limit Teams creation policy is in place. Along the bottom, we have an edit button if we need to change the rule. We have the ability to assign the policy. You'll notice that it is not currently assigned to my tenant. The reason why this is in place is you may actually have multiple tenants, so you have to choose which you want this to apply to. That's also great for removing the assignment later if you need to. You can, of course, delete it and you can force it to run now if you chose. That would take it off of that schedule that you have it on, and it would just execute right at this time. If I now go back to my dashboard, we can see the tenant no longer says create policy. That tells me my tenant now has a policy in place that will run according to my schedule. Thanks for watching this short video on how to set up a tenant policy in AFPOINT Policies and Insights.